Counting Inauguration Day, today is day 50 of President Obama's time in the White House. Since that day, the new Commander-in-Chief has rarely left the public eye. He's given almost daily speeches and appearances, all focused on turning around the economy. But is all that media time a potential problem? Joining me now live from the Cato Institute is Gene Healy, Vice President of Cato, someone who says the President is talking too much. Gene, thanks for being here with us tonight. Thanks for having me on. So you think the president's talking too much. Tell us why. Well, I, I would say that not only of this president, but of almost all modern presidents. You know, it's hard to imagine in this era when the president appears above every treadmill at the gym, but the, the framers of our Constitution didn't believe that the president should be constantly pounding the bully pulpit. They didn't believe in the bully pulpit at all. They associated that sort of idea that the president would go out and move the masses by making public speeches as a kind of demagoguery. And I think there's a, there is a sense in which uh, less is more in presidential rhetoric. When uh, the modern president has become this sort of national talk show host with nuclear weapons, uh, there's a danger that you know, people tend to get sick of him and they want, his, they want his show canceled just a couple of seasons in. Do you think the president's risking overexposure? Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. I, I think what the president's being ubiquitous on national TV feeds into a public expectation that the president's job is to fix all of the public's problems, whatever they may be, and it makes all eyes turn to the president. And that's not the president's job. The president wasn't supposed to be a national guardian angel. He was supposed to be a limited constitutional officer whose main job was faithful execution of the laws. And I don't see a lot of evidence that uh, Barack Obama's omnipresence is, uh, is really helping him or the country. In a recent Examiner editorial, you wrote, and I'm going to quote you here, maybe he ought to think about making himself a little scarcer and pounding the pulpit less. If the president became less frantically visible, that might benefit the country and the president himself. Given the economic situation in the country, do you think people would tolerate their president appearing to sit this out and not talk to people? Well, that, that, that's a good question. There, there's a chance that they wouldn't, but I do think there are diminishing returns to the bully pulpit. Uh, it's not at all clear that uh, what Barack Obama was doing, for example, during the attempt to pass the stimulus package was really helping the markets. Uh, he, he, his case seemed to be the, uh, undermining confidence. His case seemed to be that we were all going to die if we didn't pass this thing. And, uh, you know, I, I, it, it was almost as if uh, the message was the only thing we have to fear is not being afraid enough. Uh, I'm not sure that's a useful role for the president. And of course, the, you know, the, the, the president has uh, some role here, but I, I'm not sure that he should be front and center every night uh, on every TV channel. And the president's role has evolved dramatically since the country began, and the, uh, the first presidents, frankly, were a much less visible presence. Uh, the first seven presidents gave about three speeches a year. Uh, it, it's a question of, now that the cat's out of the bag, can you really go back to where you only saw the president, for example, maybe for the State of the Union, and maybe only a couple of other times a year? With the advent of technology, I, I, I don't see how we turn back the clock, but you say that's something that's necessary. I'm interested well, uh, in, in how, how, how would you do that? How, how should that go? How should we turn back the clock, so to speak? No, that's a tough question. You might not get to a place where the president gives only three public speeches a year. Uh, it is interesting, though, as you, as you said, there's only a handful of public speeches a year for, for early presidents. It, in his first year in office alone, President Clinton gave over 600, uh, and Barack Obama may be on, a, uh, on pace to, to, uh -huh. to outrace him. Uh, I think there's, a, there's a, a happy medium, certainly, between uh, the, the president being uh, uh, you know, not seen very much uh -huh. and heard even less, and uh, the president appearing everywhere and encouraging this irrational public expectation that right. every human problem is for the president to fix. All right, Gene Healy from Cato Institute. Fascinating. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you.